Hello everyone, um, this is Mr. Vitali, and I am going to walk you through a little tutorial on how to build your Google site portfolio for your uh, sixth grade language arts class. Um, we're going to go through things step by step. Please feel free to pause the video as you are watching um, and do your best to try and create your site um, so we can share it with um, your English teacher. So the first thing we're going to do to build a Google site is we're going to go to sites.google.com um, or the other way we can get there is by going through the app waffle and we just click on sites. And here we go. Now, for those of you that have built Google Sites before, you're going to see a whole list of them right here. Okay? Some of you may never have built a Google Site before. But building a Google Site is very similar to using Google Slides. Um, the way you can add content, the way you can change things, uh, so on and so forth. So I'm going to show you a very basic way of how to build your site. Uh, and we're going to go through this together, and everyone's will look the same when they are finished. Um, so where we're going to go to first is we're going to click on where it says blank. We are going to start building a Google site from a blank template. And when we click on this plus sign, it's going to bring us to um, a, uh, a new blank site. So you're going to see this open up. We're giving this a second or two to, to move on here. Now, first of all, um, it is untitled, okay? Um, and you're going to want to um, to change these things. You also see a little pop-up came down here about visiting a template gallery. Um, that's something you can do, uh, of course, later. And one of the things you can do with a template is you can choose a different look to your site based on um, predetermined criteria. Basically, it's, there's already things that are set up for you. So we're going to go through how to set things up. Um, and some best practices on how to put your site together. So, the first thing we're going to do is we are going to go up to the upper left-hand corner. We're going to give our site a title, and uh, it probably will be best to put your first and last name. Now, I'm going to use Luke Skywalker because uh, I'm a bit of a Star Wars nerd. And we are going to say Language Arts Portfolio. Now, this is something that is going to follow you. Um, we spell things correctly as you go through your time here in Isla Middle School as well as onto the high school. We're going to hit return and you're going to notice that it's going to change it up here. Um, and for right now, we are going to put um, on our page, we're going to put language arts portfolio. Okay, this can always be changed later. Um, so now, just from there, we're already starting to personalize our site. Uh, one of the things we can do is we can change this image that's behind these words, language arts portfolio. So in this case, um, I'm going to go to change image and we're going to select one. We're going to go to Google images and we're going to find something language artsy. Okay. Uh, maybe some book jackets or some bookshelves or um, a pen and paper, something like that. So let's go to select image. Let's choose um search which is going to search google images and life magazine and we're going to put in um i'm going to put in bookshelf okay and i think that uh let's see let's find one here oh i don't know you know what we'll go with this one okay now the re i'm choosing any picture now the cool thing that happens here is when i hit the select button you're going to notice that um, the words here kind of change. If you picked a really dark color, it would be lighter. If you picked a light color, they would be darker. So this way, um, they stand out. Um, so I think this looks kind of language artsy, right? You might have chosen a book that's open or something um, to your liking that's going to personalize your, um, your site a little bit, okay? Now let's talk about content. There's all sorts of different content that we can add onto our site. And I'm going to want you to follow along with me here as we add some content, which will personalize your page a little bit. Okay. What we're going to do is there's these different layouts here. 
we have different we have a picture with some some text that we can add um, you know all sorts of different little things that we can put in and what we're going to do is first we are going to choose this one in the upper left hand corner we are just going to click on it and it's going to insert it right into our site okay what I'd like you to do is I would like you to put a picture of your favorite book over here in this little box we'll put the title of the book and then underneath it we're going to write a description um, about what the book is about and also, um, you know, maybe one of the reasons why you like it. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to choose, we're going to go here and I'm going to go again to select image. Okay. Which is going to then search Google images. Um, and I'm going to choose um, all the places you'll go. Okay. Um, happens to be a favorite book of mine. Um, all sorts of different pictures here. I'm going to take this one. Okay. And I'm going to insert it. And it's going to put it in here. Now, you're going to see right now that this picture is a little bit cut off. So I probably want to slide down a little bit. Now, this is not an actual picture of the book jacket. It's just one that I chose very quickly. Okay. So we can choose that. And I can put O the places. You'll go. And I can put the author by Dr. Seuss. Uh, and I can put the reason what this book is about and what the reason is as to why this is my favorite book. Okay. This book is about a life journey. I also give this book out as a gift to different people because the message is awesome. I received it from a friend when I graduated from high school. So I'm just adding some, some simple content there, okay? So I've described my book. I've put the title of the book. I've put the author of the book, okay? Um, these are all things that I, that I can do to personalize my site. There are tons of things that you can add. You could add picture carousels. You could add a button to bring you to a specific website. You could add um, a YouTube video. Um, there's all different things that you could add into your language arts site. Um, but these are just things that I'm going to want you to do to personalize your site to get started. Now, pages. There are a number of pages that need to be added to your Google Sites page. Let's go to those right now. So now we're going to talk about pages that we need to add to our Google site. Uh, pardon me as I click around here. So when we click on this icon up here in, on the right hand toolbar um, that says pages, it then gives us our home page. That's the first page that we have on our Google site. That's the one that we built um, just a few seconds ago. Um, and it's got the, the um, picture and description of our favorite book. We're going to add pages and we're going to do that by doing the plus sign or the button down here. So you have four pages that you need to add and I'm going to have you add these as sub pages. And let me explain um, why. This is again a portfolio that's going to follow you from one um, grade to another. So we're going to start out by creating a new page and we're going to call that page sixth grade language arts and we are going to hit done. You're going to notice it's going to put it's going to have the exact same picture behind it and put a title here sixth grade language arts i'm going to change this image again the reason why you want to change the image is because you want to know uh, what information you're putting on what page okay um we are going to go to select image um we are going to go to uh let's see we'll go to search again and we'll look for open book okay 
Um, yep, that looks nice. Why not? We'll choose that one. Pretty simple. Open book in the background. Sixth grade language arts. Notice it's going to darken the letters a little bit. Makes it look all nice and neat. Okay. Um, pardon me as I get uh, and some information and emails popping through here. Sorry about that. Um, so very quickly, um, we're going to put sub pages underneath this. But before we do, we're going to go back to where it says insert. And we're going to put in a text box and down here. We're going to put check out all the examples of the writing I did. I completed, sorry, during my sixth grade year. We also can change this text by highlighting, go up to normal text, we can make it bigger. We can change the font. Um, we can also change, of course, the color. We can change the color behind this picture if we want to. Okay? So, um, again, I invite you to take a moment, pause the video, and click around um, with some of the different formatting options with text um, as we uh, move forward to adding our pages. So let's go back to pages here, and we have sixth grade language arts. Now, um, we're going to add the remaining pages as sub pages. So we are going to go over here to the, we're going to make sure that our mouse is over with the sixth grade language arts. We're going to go to the jelly bean. We're going to click on the jelly bean and we are going to go to add sub page. We have four sub pages that we are going to add. And they are narrative, informational, argumentative, and research. So the first one we're going to do is narrative. And we're going to hit done. And then we're going to go back to sixth grade language arts we're going to go to add sub page and the next one of course is informational okay and then we're going to go here we're going to go to add sub page it's going to be argumentative and then we're going to go to add sub page and it's going to be um, research now, you are not putting anything on these pages yet. As you complete this work throughout your time in sixth grade, you'll add examples of these different pieces of work by going to your Google Drive and attaching documents to the Google site. It's literally that simple. So as you complete things, you'll put in examples. But we've already, we have the building blocks set up. We've made your pages, we've put everything together, um, and now our site is pretty much ready to go. The key thing that we need to do is we need to talk about publishing and how do we share this information. That's the next stop on our journey. Pause the video, make your pages, and when you're ready, return back for part three where we publish our site. Go to step three, uh, which is going to be, oops, pardon me, wrong window. Uh, that would be my calendar. Uh, let's go to step three here, which is going to be, um, hold on. Sorry, everyone, didn't have the right window open. Well, see, this is actually a good little lesson here because um, if you were not on your Google site and you were finishing up another day, if you were to come back, to uh, sites.google.com or go to your app waffle, you are going to see that your site is right down here um, and it's ready to be opened and brought back up again. Um, this, of course, is your editing view um, and this is what your site currently looks like. Now, the reason we added sub pages, you'll notice when I hover my mouse over with the sixth grade language arts, it brings up these different pages down here. I just think that's for ease of use, that'd be better. Next year, you'll put seventh grade with the different examples. Then the following year, you'll put eighth grade with the different examples. And it will be nicely cataloged for you as you build your site. Now, there's a key thing that must be done. And that is to publish your site. There is a default when you hit publish. You'll notice I'm going to hit publish now. It's going to then, uh, first thing it's going to have you do is it's going to have you name uh, your site. Okay. 
Um, I'm just going to call this one language arts, okay? Um, and I'm going to hit the word publish, and it's going to publish my site. So the first thing we need to do is whatever name it comes up with that it gives you, that's probably the best one to choose. We're going to tap on where it says publish. And now it's going to make our site for us. And our site is successfully published. Now, any time you make a change, you need to tap that publish button again. So let's say, for example, let's go to pages. Let's go to, let's go to uh, expand this little window here. Let's go to narrative. And here's my narrative page. Let's say I've written a narrative and now I'm going to put it on my Google site. I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to drive, and I'm going to choose the example of the document. Now, I don't have a narrative here. I'm just going to choose uh, something that comes up here, okay? And it's going to be, I'm sorry, I'm just flipping through. Uh, here's an article for a newspaper that I wrote. Um, I'll throw this in there, okay? And here's my example of my narrative writing, okay? Um, this was uh, something that I put in here from last year. So now I have an example that's on my site. I've added it, okay? What I need to do is go back to that publish button. Anytime you make a change, you must hit the publish button. You'll get, here's what it currently looks like on the right. Here's what it will look like on the left. You will hit publish. And you will see, if you were to go up here to this preview button to open your site, you would see what it looks like. And you'll see that that piece of writing is there in your portfolio. So the key things to make sure that you do is you're going to make sure that you um, um, publish that site each and every time you make a change. Now, um, you do need to share your published site link with your teacher. Do not add them as a collaborator. They only need to see your finished published site and your teacher will walk you through how to do that. If you have any major issues with um, Google Sites or you have questions, um, I am a certified Google trainer. You are more than welcome to um, email me um, at the uh, with my contact information that is at the uh, end of this video. Um, you'll see me walking around the hallway, so feel free to, to ask questions, and I'm more than willing to be a resource for all of you. Happy hunting, enjoy making your site, and if you have questions, please feel free to reach out.